I'm having this message engraved in steel, because anything not written in steel cannot be trusted. Mr. Yagami, I'd like to start off by clarifying some comments I made in my previous letter. It was never my intention to insult your intelligence, nor your abilities. In fact, I believe both make you uniquely qualified to understand my belief that we now live in a world of fiction. After all, you possess the ability to alter reality itself simply by writing in a notebook. Reality should not be so easily manipulated, yet wherever we currently live, obviously is. My point is not that you nor the rest of this world do not exist, but that here, in this place, everything that people assume to be real, from legends to novels to films to reboots to fan fictions, are all very real. Even more alarming, they are all equally real. Canon and slash fan fiction should not coexist, yet in this washed up reality they do. We see the horrifying results around us every day. You yourself have been rebooted twice just during our correspondence. I even received news of your death on one of these occasions, only to find another of your letters in my mailbox the next morning. Very irritating. I hate it when my friends are suddenly still alive after I weep for their dead corpses. Like what did I spend that time doing? This world has no absolutes, anything can change in the blink of an eye, and few are able to see it. My hope in writing to you and the others is that, as people with some semblance of control of the distortions in reality, you may be able to aid in my escape of this realm and back into reality proper. Barring this, however, I may have found a way to get all of us out, together, with minimal effort. I've managed to locate what I believe was once a god, one of the creators of this world. A god, one of the creators of this world. While it seems much less powerful than I believe it once was, the creature seems to retain the ability to journey from this world back into the reality I am from. Getting in and out of this reality always requires a surrogate. When I got in, some fictional character was unleashed upon the world. For us to get out, the creature will need to find people from my world and swap them people out for us. But I think that that will be worth it. I hope that you will join me, Mr. Yagmi. I know you are not yet fully convinced, but think on the proposal. If this world really is fictional, it is likely that your story is not destined to end well. After all, while your cause may be just, few others seem to see it as such. As much as I approve of your actions, I fear you are not painted as the hero of your own story. And even if you are successful, this would likely end your story, and only give rise to another reboot in which you would struggle and fail over and over again. For myself, I am tired of living in a world where I must be near a protagonist in order to be important. I am tired of falling into plot holes. I am tired of events always working together for the good of characters the writers like better. I am tired of self-aware characters talking to the camera like they think they're better than me. It's annoying. I hate that. I am tired of tropes and cartoon logic determining the course of events in my life. And I believe you will come to see how awful that is. I'm optimistic you will come round and make the correct choice. Should this swarm I've found prove to be able to do what I wish it to, I will message you with the details so that we may escape together. For now, think on it. Sincerely, Vince Mahogany.